sir. Uh, we'll see you next time, Sylvia. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you both. You might not consider yourself someone who cares about a rap song that's climbing the charts, but it is a pretty interesting culture moment when the tune is called Fake Woke. It attacks cancel culture and it questions the Black Lives Matter movement. The exclusive interview, you don't want to miss, next. A song exploding on the music charts this week with more than two and a half million views on YouTube in just a couple of days. The viral hit is called Fake Woke. Canadian rapper Tom McDonald serves up a controversial take on cancel culture and much more. Fox News Headlines 24-7 reporter Carly Shimkus has just spoken with Tom McDonald exclusively. Hi, Carly. Hey, Martha. Yeah, that's right. It was a very interesting interview. And you know, it's common for musicians to release politically charged songs these days. But you've probably never heard one quite like this before. Rapper Tom McDonald rails against cancel culture and censorship in his new song titled Fake Woke, and his message has been heard by millions. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Now, McDonald's anti-censorship anthem has racked up over 2.5 million views on YouTube since it was released just four days ago. More impressively, it's currently the number one most downloaded song on iTunes, beating out this year's Super Bowl performer The Weeknd and Grammy winner Ed Sheeran. McDonald believes his music is popular because he is willing to scream what others would never say out loud. This song was just about screaming my truth. Um, at the top of my lungs and sort of uh, there's this performative wokeness that's going on in society today. And I think it was just important to uh, point some fingers at the hypocrisy and the, uh, the way that the world is changing, um, not for the better. Now, the 32-year-old is no stranger to tackling hot-button issues in a track released last year titled People Are Stupid. He made his feelings on abortion clear, wondering why some don't consider a heartbeat a sign of life. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. In another song, he discussed Black Lives Matter, calling it a valuable movement, but adding all lives matter isn't racist or stupid. Supporters call his stance refreshing, but critics have accused him of racism and homophobia. One Twitter user writing, um, if someone listens to Tom McDonald, cut them off completely. Another tweeting, if you like Tom McDonald, you got to be racist. I know who I am. My friends and my family know who I am. My fans know who I am. If I see something on TV, I change the channel. If I'm reading something I don't like, I close the book. Like, I don't try to call the radio station and, and, call, and call the people who are on TV names and try to cancel them or call the publishing company that published the book that I don't like and try and get the author canceled. And while McDonald has the most popular song on iTunes right now and 1.6 million followers on YouTube, he is doing it only with the help of his girlfriend who shoots all of his music videos. He does not have a manager, a record label, a publicist, or PR team. He also doesn't get a lot of media attention. He attributes this to not fitting in with today's accepted narrative. People have become allergic to opinions in North America in these last five years, and it's it's pretty soon like they're going to cancel everything and all we're going to have is tall gray buildings and quiet car rides and then we're all going to be kicking ourselves in the butt for this craziness and while you may think he's conservative mcdonald says he doesn't support either political party he thinks the most important thing is to have moderate voices instead of the political polarization facing america today martha mm. Carly, thank you. Very interesting interview. A controversial rapper uh, with a pretty strong message. Interesting to hear from him. Um, I also just want to do a